are, we want to introduce ourselves. I'm Karisma. I am Nur Aida. I am Ella Pinta Tividiasuti. And I am Ali Kalari. Today, we are in Talamini, Indonesia Indah. Actually, one million in Talamini. Wait, wait. What we are doing here? Today, we want to identify about some traditional house in Java Island. So, let's go. Every place I go reminds me of you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. DKI Jakarta, that we know as the capital of Republic Indonesia, is located in Java Island between Banten Province and West Java Province. It has 664.1 km square with density of population. Jakarta is the first to to be the highest city of population. The city of Metropolitan successful to make hundreds thousand people are willing to go to Jakarta for a change. And behind the successful and the cruel of Jakarta, there are so many histories that we don't know. And here I am. I want to explain to all of you about the culture and traditional of Jakarta. Um, I started from traditional homes. The traditional house of Jakarta is called Kebaya House. The roof has Japanese typical building, or we call it Joglo, also the division of the room. There is front veranda is named Paseban. The edge of Paseban is fenced with entrance in the middle. The door is given a leaf that had about 80 cm. And also, the room is given place like Kebaya dress. Pasaban has function to be the place for praying. The walls of Kebaya are made by board that can be opened and also moved at means to get the white room for hajat and ibad. The back veranda and the front veranda are free to be opened. This is the characteristic of Kebaya house. And for the next, I'll explain about traditional dress. The traditional dress of men is such a skull cape or duster with coat that goes on the neck and also trousers batik that round on waist and also bigger that inserted a hat the stomach even if the woman that use shawl kebaya and also batik. And next, traditional dance. The Jakarta has many traditional dances, and there are four dances that I'll explain. First, popping dance. Popping dance is such a traditional dance, and two, yapong dance is such a present dance for great visitors of of city. Three. Surrounding dance is such land dance that take part of the Tawi Wayang dance. And for Sembah dance is such dance to create visitor with tradition of Tawi. And the last traditional musical instrument, Gabang Kromo is a band that used to instruments such as percussion. It's named Gambang and Kromo. Gambang is made by wood that has 18 blades even if chrome is made by iron or bronze that has 10 blades and the another instruments such as dindang, krecek, kemong, kempul, rebab and in my behind this is the I just can show you about kemong I think that's all that I can explain to you. Maybe just this is for me. Well, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, here I am. I want to explain about traditional house of West Java. The pavilion of West Java in Tang Ii is built based on Kasepuhan, Karaton, Cirebon, in accordance.
students with the original building, the parent building is divided into several rooms. There are the first, Jiem Pangrawit, originally a post where the bodyguards meet. Gathers. The second, Bangsal Pringon Dani, originally the room where the Sultan and his subordinates meet. And the third, Bangsal Prabayaksa, originally the Sultan meet room with special dress. And the last, Bangsal Dalem, in the original place, in the room of the Dalem is the workspace for the Sultan. And it is... On this stage on Sundays and public holidays, they stage by various arts from West Java, as well as frequent bazaars, exhibitions, and demonstration of handicraft objects. Okay, now you can see in behind me there are so many handicrafts in some city in West Java. And this is handicraft from Cianjur. This is handicraft from Depok. This is handicraft from Bogor. And he is a small wayang. The name is Cepot. Now you can see there are so many batik from Majalengka. The first pattern is Gunung Seribu. And then the next is Kota Angin. The third is buah gedong ginchu, and then simbar kencana, and then nyi rambut kasih, and the last lauk nyibian. So, that's all of my explanation about traditional house of West Java, and thank you. Bye. of Yogyakarta. Joglo is a traditional vernacular house of Japanese people. It consists of two parts, the pendopo and dalam. The pendopo is the front section of Joglo that lays in roof space with columns and with a wall uh, or partition. The dalam is the inner with wall enclosure and rooms such as bedroom and kitchen. Pendopo is used to receive waste, reception hall and living room, while the inner dalam is more private uh, rooms. The outer wall of columns with rectangular plain created expansion space. The name of the central room comes in from the word ringgit meaning and wayang is used for wayang performs and part of Japanese traditional culture. Its name Beduk. The name is Gong. Its name Chenong. It is the moon. It is kebab. It is gendang. It is Saron. It is Peking. And last, it is Bonang. The roof form a pyramid like structure with central part are. Tall and steeper. It is said that the roof of Joglo is constructed to mimic a mountain. 
in a structured Japanese society and tra tradition Joglo also reflect Japanese social status this type of building is only reservoir for less uh, they call is Kraton official resident government estate and the house of nobles uh, they call name is Ningrat originally for owners are not allowed to construct this kind of house as their residence. Thank you. And now I will explain about traditional house in East Java. Japanese people recognize various residential residential design in the future. One of the famous traditional house in East Java is called Ponarago. Ponarago House is built with a unique architectural design. One of the uniqueness is located on the roof frame design that has a height enough. So this roof design is produced from the pattern of poles that support the house. Mainly in the middle of the house, there are four pillars of higher size that support the roof loop. The four pillars are called Soko Guru. The roof of the traditional house is made of earthquake material. Totality juggler house more use hardwood, good for wall, pole, frame of roof, door, window, and other parts. To support this one function, the traditional house of East Java is divided into several stacks of rooms with their respective function. And as we know, Joglo House have a function as a cultural icon and a picture of Japanese social life. Basically, also serve as a place to live. First, Pendapa. This section is located in front of the house, usually used for, for formal activities such as meetings, performance of wayang kulit, and dance, as well as traditional ceremonies. The second section is Peringatan. This section lies between the Pendapa and Oma Jero, usually used for ways for people who want to enter the house. And third, Emperan. This is the link between Peringatan and Oma Jero. Can also be said as the front terrace because of the width of about two meters. Emperors are used to receive guests, like place to relax and other public activities. And the fourth is Oma Jero. This section is often called Oma Buri, Dalam Ageng, or Oma Only. Oma in Japanese soil city is also used as a term that includes the meaning of domestic as a residence. And the last is Sentong Kiwa. It is on the right and consists of several rooms. Some are functioning, functioning as a bedroom, a warehouse, a place to store food, and so on. So that's all my explanation about traditional house of East Java. Well, as you have seen, we have explained about traditional house and Java Island, such as Kasepuhan, Kebaya, and Joglo. So, this is the end. Sorry for our